So now time to see the K-Box in action. Here we have the K-Box Pro. I'm going to use it for demo. And here uh, on the other side, you see the K-Box Lite. So when you set up for a new exercise, there's three things you basically got to decide. And that's you got to set up the inertia that you need. You also have to select the accessory uh, uh, that you use to connect to the K-Box, which could be a harness, the belt, the ankle cuffs, the grips, the bar. And then you have to set the desired belt length, which decides the range of motion in the, in the, in the drill. Uh, and then between users, you basically just have to change the uh, belt lengths. So first off, shifting inertia. I have a pretty small flywheel on, and I want to change to a bigger one. You have a re retaining nut here, and a little black handle here, and you pull it, and it's released. And you can take off the flywheel like that. I'll take a bigger one with more inertia on it. And I put that back on and it locks. Make sure it's locked. So, easy as that. Now I want to move the K bar over from this. It's attached here to the K box light. So just pull this tag here and the snap shackle is open. Bring it over to the K-Box Pro, same here, open the snap shackle, put the grip in, make sure it's locked, good. So this would be a, maybe a good uh, range of motion for an RDL, but I want to start off with a biceps curl. I push a button here that releases the belt. Then I can take out until I feel I have the desired. This will be the end point. I let go of the button and it locks. So this will be the end position. I have no belt on, on around the shaft. So at this position, when I have accelerated the flywheel, it will start continue spinning and start retracting me down. I have to absorb that energy. So I'm going to show the principle here of, uh, with the K-Box in action. Uh, I'm going to use the biceps curl as this is a good drill uh, when you try out the K-Box for the first time. Uh, we'll set the distance and so I just have to put some motion into the flywheel to put some belt around the shaft. And then I can start pulling, generate the motion and let that pull me down. Here I'm go going rather gentle. And if I go harder, immediately this turns into a really heavy drill without shifting any weights. It's also quite easy to, if I want to put in more energy into the concentric phase to get an overload, I can squat off using the legs and absorb that in the eccentric phase. Make sure the flywheel has come to a complete stop, stop before you uh, jump off it or, or, or uh, drop the bar. So now I'm going to show some transitions to other exercises. We've been doing the biceps curl. If I want to shift into, for example, an RDL, I push the button. The auto retract here on the K-Box Pro will pull the belt back and make sure it locks. Okay, I feel I have a decent end position. Just take up some belt again on the, and then you can, ready to go. Same here, I can go between warm up. Into more effort. Ooh. And then I can shift back, maybe into a pull. Uh, put some spin into it. So that's how you shift between exercises, just changing the length of the dry belt. 
So now I'm going to show you a squat using the harness. First, I have to remove the K-bar, pull the tag here on the pulley, open the snap shackle, and the K-bar is released. And then the, I use the harness, put it on, like that. Make sure it's nice and tight here at the waist. This doesn't have to be as tight. And then you have some paddings here on the shoulder. Okay. As an alternative, I could have used the uh, uh, squat belt, which reduces all of the pressure here on the shoulders. I have some red stitching here. I'll put this red stitching together like that. Put in the pulley, click, make sure it's uh, tight and secure. Uh, push the button. As you can see, the auto retract takes in the belt. Make sure it locks. Same again. Put some motion into the flywheel. And then I'll start some gentle squatting. And without the need to shift weights, I can accelerate more. And the fly was just absorbed energy. So going between a light squat and a heavy squat, just a matter of shifting intensity, basically. No, so now you're seeing a quick uh, demo, practical demo, to see the K-Box in action. action. If you want to see more exercises using the K-Box, check our Instagram feed. Next section would be a short quiz, and then you've done the demo course.